let's start tapering an object. So I'm gonna go in here to my tool palette. I'm gonna go into my, this big tool palette thing right here. We're gonna grab a cylinder 3D, drag it out on my canvas, go into edit mode, turn on polyframe, and you can see this is an, an initialized primitive state. So I'm gonna go down here to tool initialize, and we're going to say, uh, H divide, I'm gonna say maybe set this to like 16, and then for V divide, I'm gonna drag that all the way to the left. So you just have a very simple cylinder. Now I wanna sculpt on this or modify these verts. So I'm gonna go in here and say make poly mesh 3D, and I'm gonna switch my material out to like skin shader 4 so you can see it a little bit better. How do we taper this cylinder? And we'll talk about a couple of different possibilities depending on the type of geometry you have. This geometry is pretty simple. So you have a top edge and a bottom edge and no middle edges here. So one thing you can do is, you know, in, an, in another program, you might make a selection of verts or edges. In ZBrush, that's masking. So you can hold down control. And if you mask this top edge, it will mask these verts and, un and keep these verts unmasked. If you want to do the opposite, hold down control alt, and then it'll unmask these and mask these. However you want to mask something, go for it. Hit W on your keyboard. That'll, that'll bring up the gizmo options. And of course, the gizmo is scale, rotate, and move your verts. Uh, in this case here, if we grab the middle scale option, that will scale uniformly. And in this case, it's going to scale down toward the gizmo. There's two ways around this. One part of gizmo functionality is the ability to scale on multiple axes. So for example, I can scale in the Z axis and or scale in the red axis. And I can also scale in the uh, Z and X axis at the same time if I hold down Alt and scale in the Y axis. That's going to scale down uh, in that in both of those axes at the same time. So regardless of where my pivot is, I can just hold down Alt and scale it down and I can taper this cylinder. Or I can hold down Alt and if I go to the top here, I can, so holding down Alt while I'm in gizmo mode will unlock the gizmo. That means I can set the pivot so I can just tap on that dot right there, and then I can just do a uniform scale, or I can do a, hold down Alt and do a, you know, two axis scale in this case too, but I can do a uniform scale in that case. Now, if my gizmo is over here, remember I've unmasked, unmasked all of these points up here. I can hit this button right here, this little, uh, hold down Alt and then hit this little teardrop icon that goes to unmasked unmasked mesh center, which means this is all unmasked. It's going to go right to the middle of it. Now it's a little wonky. So I'm going to hold down alt and I'm going to do this reset. So now it's reset and it's gone to the unmasked mesh center. By the way, you do have that option in your masking over here. You can say mask, uh, where is that? Go to unmesh mesh center. So there is a button for that. But of course in your gizmo, just hold down alt and hit that button. And now you can scale uh, uniformly and taper this cylinder. So that's a couple gizmo masking selection ways. And again, just unmask, you know, set your pivot, uniform scale, whatever you want to do. Um, let's say you don't want to make a selection. Now, you can go into Z Modeler Brush, B, Z, M, hover over an edge. Uh, and then you could say, like, to make a selection, you can say, hey, uh, I don't know, mask, edge loop complete. Or you can hover over a face and say, mask, uh, flat island, and mask those, those verts and control tap to invert that. I wouldn't mess with that. An even better option is just to hover over this edge with your Z model brush. Again, B, Z, M, hover over an edge, hold down space bar, say scale, wherever that is. Uh, there it is, scale, edge loop complete. And then you can just scale. It's gonna select the edge loop complete for you and then scale it. Works perfectly fine. And I think even slide edge loop complete will work in this case, so that's a cool one. Uh, so use that to your advantage to taper as well. Now, if I hit W and go back into gizmo mode, uh, let's go ahead and reset, hold on Alt and reset, and then go to Unmash Mesh Center again. There's a lot of options for tapering geometry in here. And these come in hand in this gear, by the way. So I'm gonna hit Q to go back into draw mode. With my Z Modeler brush, I'm gonna hover over an edge, hold down space bar, say insert, multiple edge loops, keep poly group. And then I'm just gonna put some extra geometry down the side here. So let's say I wanna taper this cylinder, but I got more edges in there. Uh, if you try to go in here and like mask and then control tap to blur the mask and then control tap to invert the mask and then, you know, hold on alt and scale, you know, it's not going to give you a very nice taper, right? Luckily, with gizmo activated and our gizmo set right down the axis of this object, you can go into this gear icon and you can 
Come on, get in there. There it is. And you can go in here and there is a taper deformer. So select that taper deformer and then you can just taper from one end to the other. You just grab one of these cones. You can taper from this side if you want, or but we're going to taper from the top here. But we have a bulbous result. Go in here to the exponent, turn that down to zero, and now you can taper to your heart's content. Uh, you don't have to just use that deformer though. There's a bunch in here that will have that same functionality. One of them is the deformer deformer. So we can go in here to the deformer. By default, this is like a lattice deformer. Basically how it works is it puts a low res proxy geometry that allows you to manipulate these lower res verts to change the shape of your object. So for example, if I hold down control alt and then drag over these two dots, that will unmask them. Again, just selection and ZBrush in your case. Then you can just move, scale, rotate, these uh, two dots and that will manipulate your geometry based on this this lattice deformer around it. However, um, if I want to taper something, I'm going to go down here. Oops, let's go back into the let's reset this, go back into the deformer here. Uh, you'll see it has a it, it has a, a bunch of points I don't really need. So I'm going to take these this are here, the, the inside orange cones, just bring this down so that they're just you know, one by one by one, basically. And then, so a very simple box is controlling the geometry in my uh, scene here, or this object. So I'm gonna hold down Control-Alt. I'm gonna unmask these top points, and that already moves my little ghosted gizmo right up there. So now I can just uniformly scale or hold down Alt and scale on the X and Z axis there. And now I can taper, even though there's geometry in here, it will do a great tapering job on that cylinder. Um, and it, that's not even the only one. You can Anything that has basically a scale in here will do that. Uh, I don't know, maybe bend curve. Uh, we can choose our axis here so we can add more resolution. We're going to keep that resolution low and we're going to change our axis with, nope, this one here. There we go. So now I can choose this top point here and do a scale and that will also scale this down. Of course, the bend curve deformer is way cooler than that. You can add again, like I said, more resolution points and then you can go through here and like you know bend this thing around based on where these points are in space and then also you can click on these and like you know scale these um taper them twist them around so there's this is another really cool deformer you can use but at its baseline you can also just use it as a tapering tool if you want um there may be other options that i'm not thinking of to go through and taper something. So if you remember any, throw them in the description or in the <laughs> comments. And uh, I don't know, let's, let's figure out all the ways we can taper something in ZBrush. And as I was publishing those, I thought of a couple more things you might wanna know. So over here underneath your tools, poly groups, Menu, there is a group by normals option. That's the max. The bend angle should be set to 45-ish by default. So go ahead and say group by normals. That will make a poly group for your top and bottom sections here. So in this case, you can hit W and then you can just say uh, W to go into gizmo mode, say control tap that poly group and scale this down. However, that's not gonna really do a taper on an object with segmented um, edges in here. So I'm gonna go in here to geometry, edge loop, and we're going to say uh, delete loops, you know, with the angle that's set at 45, that'll go ahead and get rid of those. And then you can see, okay, again, if this is all one polygroup, uh, polygroups, tool, polygroups, group by normals, W, control tap, any one of these, that'll go ahead and unmask that. If you're not careful, it will um, not really put that gizmo right on that vert right there you may need to go back in and hold that alt and tap that that's just a quick way to kind of unmask a uh, poly group so you can go through here and move it but it's not super accurate so in that case i might say just do a do a follow-up where you just say control tap that poly group hold down alt and then just go to unmash mesh center and now you are scaling uh like a champ either uh uniform scale or holding down alt and scaling in the x and y axis in this case Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, while you have these polygroups, now you can hover over a face uh, with your Z model brush BZM, hover over a face, hold down space bar, and now you can go here to scale polygroup all, and now you can scale your entire polygroup. So as long as you have a polygroup available, you can scale the polygroup, you can transpose polygroup all. So now you have a polygroup in here. Again, go to Unmash Mesh Center, and you can grab that. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think of in there.